these are the first pieces that I started to make um, and it really was in response to walking um, during lockdown so um, like many people the walking leaving the house and being out in countryside was something that helped me cope with the situation that we all found ourselves in last year um, and these are the lanes they're the routes that I could get to from my house uh, which is in Cardigan and um, and I'd, I'd go for walks and I'd enjoy the walk and I'd remember what I'd seen and I'd come back and I started sewing which isn't something I've done before um, and the, the sewing, the lines started to build a composition and I, I brought them back and uh, used paint to fill in some of the areas and I, I suppose what was evolving were these landscapes um, and a record of the cycle, the routine that I'd got into so this, this painting is Hen Gallan and I started it last year in, um, in the summer um, and then I came back to it again in January this year so that's why it has its title um, and it's the road going from Newport towards Cum Gwine, um, going as you just go over the top of the hill and start going down into the valley, a magical place. Here we have work that started at various times um, some of these are the lanes just above St Dogmills um, and they are like you know end of the summer season where the big shadows and evening walks um, some perhaps more remote spots than the Pacelli's um, which some people may know about uh, Pacelli's were like a refuge because people were coming and enjoying our beaches and our summer and I found myself getting further and further away and heading for the hills really close to home so that's the um, that one's called Clothed and it's the view from above St Dogmores looking back at Cardigan and towards Berwick where the, where the fields were changing and the colours were changing with the seasons um, and that's that's the patchwork. Uh, this little one is a is the sea fog so while we were while I was walking the fog came down and I couldn't see very much and everything went very very quiet and the birds stopped singing and I found myself walking not really really <laughs> knowing where I was until the mist rose. Uh, when the fog dropped um, everything got very quiet and I could hear my own feet on the tarmac and the machine stopped working in the fields and the birds stopped singing but one thing that I'd got quite accustomed to was knowing which trees I was passing so this um, this little row, I mean, I was when the when the mist rose, I was coming up into a an arch of hawthorn and blackthorn. But these trees are quite lovely, and they've been planted by um, by a home here. And you've got eucalyptus and a sycamore and oak, and you can literally hear the leaves in the wind. And that was I knew where I was. <laughs> the trees were making the noise. Yes, so this is another Priscelli pass. This is another one from the top of the hill, looking out towards, I suppose that's towards the south home bookshire. And then this one people may recognise. It's that gorgeous view from the top of um, Newport when you look out towards Cymreglwys and the beach, Treb Drive on the right-hand side. The painting is called Ur Avewid, and it means the promise, and it really is the... The looking to the future with a, with a positive outcome. As you see, all the little objects are making their way. They're trying to escape. Um, so, so, yeah, we have more, more of what... These came before. Um, they're, they're, again, they're things that were happening in the home um, around me. Uh, work I was doing, because I was working uh, at the time. Um, and books and I was lucky enough to be given a bunch of flowers which I hadn't had for ages it was great um, and again so most of them have this window but this one doesn't have a window it has a reflection back into the room and it has this this promise that you will be able to exit at some point so everything has an exit point <laughs> um, and this is the studio so one thing I found, and it's a square, which was harder um, to do, uh, but we, we work in squares now, social media works in squares, um, and so I thought I'd try a square format. Um, so yeah, it was tricky, tricky, but what I, what I realised was it was, I, I like to paint things quite flat, 
and I wanted to give a nice depth to it. So I was standing outside my, my window on the outside looking back inside and that gave me a different perspective on things and I ended up finishing this painting by looking at it through a mirror. So this is the edge of the mirror and the shelf and I'm looking over my shoulder and, and finishing the work. Landscapes, I, I made up these nice chunky stretches um, and I was using the objects um, around me. So this is, this is the uh, vegetable delivery <laughs> we had once a week. Um, and those are some squash. I had a little, like, little army of squash that I used to place around and jars and tins and things that were part of the shopping. Um, they, and and it's, they're quite dark, and I think that really was the middle of the winter and, that, and before Christmas, and that was a fairly miserable time in Wales. We were in lockdown for painting going on, and I found this really lovely palette that I, I found very restful to use, and, um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a way of processing what was happening. Um, at the time. You see some of the furniture starting to creep in and some of the angles and some of the windows and then you'll probably come to this pair that, that followed on from that. So I sort of stuck, it just literally took a step back. Um, and what I had been doing during lockdown, I think what we all have done is We've been keeping in touch with friends and family and we've been working online and these spaces, these interiors, they're not my home, they're elements of my home, um, they're useful, um, but really I've been looking at other people's homes, <laughs> and like we're inviting people in through our screens into our homes, so these are a mix of virtual and made up and imagined spaces. Um, again, we've got the, the busy tabletop of objects and again we've got this vista that that's promising a, a brighter future. And this one particularly, uh, this one, Stories on Demand, this is the place I wanted to be. These are the, these are the um, outdoor spaces that I was dreaming about. Um, uh, yeah, which that was also got a reflection in. So these, and worth mentioning that there's Music on Demand and Stories on Demand because I was doing a lot of listening to the radio um, and keeping busy. And this Stories... If I look at this now, I can remember the stories I was listening to.